So I said I was going to have a look at the library app, so here I am. So if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs by some point in the future, so any help will be really appreciated. So now that's out of the way, let's get started. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. So if you need a bit of a refresher on what library is, basically it is a decentralized video platform that makes use of a blockchain to store basically metadata and links to videos. So it's basically impossible to censor. But if you want a full description of what I'm talking about, go watch my other video that I did on library and also go check out some of the other random videos that exist on YouTube about it. Or just, I guess, come over and check out the platform for yourself. So. It is a much more stable platform than what I've seen from the early videos that were done of it back in, I think, maybe two or so years ago. So, back then, it would just screen tear absolutely horribly and just constantly break, but it seems fairly stable now. So, this is the Linux version of the app. That was the one that was broken back then, and it works fine. It's a Electron-based app, I think, maybe? I don't know. If someone, someone knows, correct me, but I presume that it is. So, the app lets you do a couple of neat things. So, down here we've got my tags that I'm following. So, say I want to follow something like, I don't know, Arch Linux. We'll say, <laughs> let's say I want to follow Anarchy. Yeah, we'll follow that. Um, now, that will then add all of the Anarchy videos to the list. So, right now it's in the trending list. So, you're going to see things that are like six months and like, a year ago, 10 days ago, but you can order it by other things. So let's just get rid of that tag because we get put on a list. And say we want to look at it as like top or, and this will be like top of the week, month, day, whatever. Oh, my video's there. That's not. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. Anyway, or you could do things like you want to have it as new. And then basically it'll just list out the new videos. And one of the nice things is that if I was to say, put it on new for channels I follow, what's gonna happen is that it's gonna give me the new videos for the channels I follow, not some curated list of things that I may not be interested. It's gonna give me the new videos and that's what it should do, unlike some other platforms. But you may be wondering how this top end trending list actually works. So it actually is kind of neat. So basically the way that it does it is it works off of a couple of different metrics. I'm not sure about all of them, but I know that it tracks views and also tips. So the way that monetization works on this platform is that let's say we want to, I don't know, click on, actually what's something in my library so I don't have to re-download it while it's going. Let's say this random Lunduk video. So if I wanted to say tip Lunduk some LBC, so LBC is the currency that's used on the platform or the credit that's used. So that is the library credit. So it is a cryptocurrency. It is a crypto credit, however you want to describe it basically. And I think the value of it is us, what? 0.7 cents or something like that. I'm not sure on the exact value. I might put it up on the screen or something because it's changing every day. I don't remember the exact value. But anyway, let's say I want to tip Lunduk, say, I don't know, I want to tip one LBC. So basically this is just how the monetization works on this platform. And there we go. I've now tipped him one LBC and it hasn't updated up here for some reason. Oh, there we go, it has. And I guess it doesn't show the decimal value. Oh, there we go, it updated again. I don't know what's going on with that number. <laughs> I haven't actually tipped anyone before. But basically that's how it works. One day they also are considering bringing on ads, but a lot of people aren't really sure how this is gonna work. And the big problem with ads is that it might end up turning into a platform very similar to YouTube in that case, without the censorship from the uh, overall blockchain, because the videos are gonna exist. So if library did, for example, decide to start censoring the videos that did appear on the application, then someone could come along and just build a new app and all of the videos would be there. So I haven't actually run into anything that is blatantly... Actually, no, I have run into one thing. I did see something <laughs> that I was like, okay, that's interesting. Um, basically, it was a video called Man Getting Decapitated or something. And I think it disappeared fairly quickly. 
But there are other things like that that I guess will get taken down by the app, but will still exist if someone does want to make an app that does just go over the blockchain and grab every link. So, I don't know. It depends on how you feel about how that model works. So, as I was mentioning before, you can follow people. So, let's... I noticed someone who I wasn't following, like EEV blog. So, so there we go. Let's say I want to follow EEV blog. He's an Australian uh, engineering electrical dude. So, we can follow him. And where it is? There we go. So, now it's just added to my list. So, now if I want to, say, watch one of his videos, I can just... I'll we'll go to Luke first. And then if I... That's weird. Okay, that's a little bit of a bug. It didn't download Luke's videos. Anyway, so now we can go back to EV blog. That's interesting. I haven't actually seen that happen before. So, sometimes I guess it'll say that the channel hasn't uploaded anything. That, I guess, needs to be worked on. One other thing I have noticed that's a bit of a problem with the Linux version of the app is that, so when you open up the app, it'll ask you for the keyring password. And if you cancel that, then the app will just get into a loop of crashing constantly and it'll be stuck on a black screen and you can't re-add the key ring. I've tried quitting the app and it puts me in the same situation, so I would have to probably work out what's happening there. I reckon you'd have to like quit the key ring program and then restart that, but I'm not sure what what that's called. So maybe it's called key ring or something, but the easiest way to fix that I've found is just restarting your computer. So that's a li another little bit of a bug. One other thing, so with my channel, for example, I've noticed that I can follow myself, and I don't know if that's intentional or not. If that's intentional, that's fine, but if it's not, that's just a little bit of a bug that should probably be fixed. So every day that you're using the platform, you can actually get rewards from doing things. So like, you can get a daily reward from watching a video, there's a referral code in here, and there's a bunch of other things. That's how all of this LBC has come in. Because the way that I was mentioning tips, so the way that that works is when you take your tips off of a video, they basically stop getting counted to the monetization of the video. So it actually deranks it when you take money out from it. So I don't really mind showing my wallet, but I'm gonna save that for a later video where I'll talk about like how much a small channel can actually make on this platform because I am, what am I at? 18 subscribers, which isn't much, but one of the bigger channels, Minute Physics, only has about 5,000, and the Linux Gamer has about 4,500, so, so that seems like a big channel on this platform. So, And because everything is based off of tipping, it's at that point you can actually make a considerable amount, and you wouldn't think that, but depending on the content you make, you can actually make quite a bit on this platform. As I was mentioning before, you have this library here. So the way that videos work, so let's say we want to watch one of, oh, why isn't it loading? <laughs> now the app's just not gonna work. So let's just look up Linux, whatever comes up first. So say we want to, oh, there's just a bunch of wallpapers in here. Okay, we'll go, go to the front page. We'll, what are these random crypto videos? I don't know if it's any good. So if you want to watch a video, you click on that and it's going to then start downloading at some point. It's, I guess it's being a little bit slow today. My connection, I don't actually have a 2.7 down connection. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, so as you can see here, it'll start downloading the video. So once it's downloaded, then the way that I understand it, it it's similar to the way that something like BitTorrent works, where you then become part of the network for the video distribution for that video. So as long as you have your internet connection up and the library app open, then it's going to start using a portion of your connection to connect the video. I think that's how it works. If I'm wrong about that, correct me, but I, th I, th I think that's how it works. So you can also do things like publishers from the app. So all of my videos are published here already. I think it's a video behind right now, which is strange, because usually they go up fairly quickly. And there's other random videos that are missing, I guess. Maybe? Or maybe they're just uploading... No, they're just uploading in weird orders when I actually sync to my channel. Anyway, so you can directly publish from the app. I'm not going to, because I just sync all of my videos, and it's just easier like that. But if you do want to use Library as your main platform, or say you use BitChute or something, then you can just re-upload the same videos here. And it's just convenient to be able to do that as well. 
So there is also a web platform for library, but from what I've seen, it's not as, I guess, stable. It's still an alpha, and it's a bit of a mess. So as I was mentioning before, you download videos, and then they get added to your library. So there's other things that aren't videos, like this random image that I clicked on that downloaded. So I believe all of these videos are downloaded to like your... I think it sets like a standard download folder, which I think is just downloads or something like that. But you should probably be able to change that in your settings. Yeah, so that's just set to the download directory. Just the standard stuff in here. There is a dark and a light theme. So the light theme looks like this and it blinds me a little bit. So we're going to turn back the dark. By default, I think the light theme is on. So yeah, come in the settings and change that as quick as possible. Oh, you can just click up here as well. So I don't think there's much else. There's just like a bunch of random settings in here. Nothing too interesting to talk about. Uh, let's see, overview. Yeah, there's not much else in here. I might chuck this link on here in the description down below. So if you want to come and join the platform, then come join it because library's pretty cool. It's a nice alternative to YouTube. It's definitely rough around the edges <clears throat> because it actually requires you to download and save it on your system. It's a little bit slower than using something like YouTube. But if you do want to go back and rewatch a video, then having it already saved in your system is going to save you a little bit of time. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of videos where you don't do that. So if you do want to remove something from your library, I can't remember how you do that. How do you do that? Oh, you can just come into the video and then click on download. So if we want to delete that random one from my library, then there we go. Now it's no longer in my library. So I think that's a fairly general overview of the platform. I think it's actually really cool. It's still a little rough around the edges, but it is so, so much better than it was back in the older videos that were showing it off. And I actually really, I have a lot of hope for this platform in the future. Obviously, I'm not going to fully migrate over from YouTube to library just because, yes, you can make quite a bit on this platform. I will talk about that in a separate video, but I want as many eyes as possible on my content and moving all my work over to the library, I don't think is the best way to do that just because YouTube is the platform that people are using. It would be nice if more people were using alternatives like library, BitChute or anything else that exists out there, but at this stage, they're not. But depending on what YouTube keeps doing in the next couple of years, that might change with things like Peace Score and the changes to the terms of service that they've been doing where they can basically nuke a channel if they just think it's not financially viable and various other or anti-creator and anti-viewer sentiments they have. So if you like this video, remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. I'm actually recording this directly after my Humans Forgot How To Be Offline video. So I've been recording for about 40 minutes at this point and I don't know how I'm still talking this well. I might actually have the stamina to do a podcast at this point. I don't know, it might come down the track at some point. I've got some ideas and I've got some people that I'm thinking of asking. So maybe it'll happen. Keep your eyes open. And one other thing I did want to mention, not too important, but the CEO of Library, Jeremy Kaufman, has now followed me on Twitter, and that's just really cool. So go support him, because he's a cool dude, and yeah, I don't really have much else to say about him. And go follow me on YouTube and also on Library, so we can build up both platforms. I'm more than happy for you to support me on either one, YouTube, Library, or maybe I'll start up something else at some point. I like Library because it's a zero effort platform to use. I don't have to think about it. All that happens is the videos get published there and the LBC comes rolling in. So, so if you want to see other videos like this, go check out the playlist that this video is in and you'll see some random other videos. I don't know what's going to be in there. And also go follow my Twitter at my Mastodon and you'll probably get updates there. So I think that's pretty much everything for me. At some point I will do that video on how much you can actually make on library as a small creator. I'm kind of in a weird position because I kind of got boosted by a couple of important people in the library community, so I don't know how accurate it's going to be, but either way, we'll just talk about the video when we get to it. So I think that's pretty much everything for me, and I'm out.